Gracelyn, you piece of garbage. Have you already given up on my son? I've been warning you time and time again that you're nothing but trouble for him, but it's like my words just bounce off your empty skull. Now, enjoy the consequences of your idiotic and reckless actions. Seriously, Lawrence, why the hell did you do that to me? Out of nowhere, you decide to assault me? You literally punched me and shoved me into the damn pool. Do you have any clue how much pain and humiliation I had to suffer because of your despicable actions? And what's more disheartening is that you damn well know that I'm carrying Watson's child. That innocent baby is going to be your grandchild. How could you sink so low and do something so utterly repulsive to your own family? Ugh, do you seriously think I give a damn? That so-called grandchild of yours? Yeah, no chance in hell am I accepting that abomination into my family. It's nothing but a curse, poisoning our bloodline. I've said it loud and clear, get rid of that godforsaken thing. And don't you dare worry about money. I'll cover the whole procedure. Just so you know, my family is rolling in dough. Money is the least of our concerns. What? I don't care about money, and I especially won't entertain the idea you just spewed. It's outright cruel and revolting. You're nothing short of a devil for even suggesting such a despicable thing. No matter what garbage you try to feed me, my child is staying right with me. End of discussion. Oh, really? Devil? Are you describing yourself, you ignorant imbecile? You're the one who seduced my son, got knocked up before even bothering with marriage, all just to trap him and secure a spot in my family. Is it my family's wealth and assets you're after, huh? Cut the crap and tell me the truth for once. If you're honest with me, I might slap some pity money in your face. How about a sweet $100,000 to rid yourself of that little parasite in your belly and set my son free? Sounds like a deal? I've already told you, and apparently you're too dense to understand, that money means nothing to me. Quit harping on about it like it's some magical solution that can fix everything. Newsflash, there are plenty of things money can't buy, and the life of an innocent child is one of them. Don't you remember how thrilled you were when Watson and I discussed planning to have a child? So, pray tell, what does it matter if I have a child now versus having one after marriage? Stop being a hypocrite and open your damn eyes. It's the 21st century, not some medieval era. It's time for you to wake up from your pathetic nightmare. Are you seriously trying to tell me that an illegitimate child is innocent? Give me a break. That kid's mere existence is already a damn crime. It shouldn't even be alive in the first place. So spare me your excuses. Listen up, I'll give you two options. Either you get rid of that cursed brat, and then maybe I'll think about allowing you to marry my precious son. But if you dare to cling on to that child, forget about this whole marriage charade, and don't even think about using it as a way to extort my family's hard-earned cash. Oh, by the way, did I mention my cozy relationship with the Mafia? Yeah, that's right. One phone call and they'll be on their way to make sure you lose that baby of yours. Ha! So think twice before you mess with me. What? Are you seriously considering hurting my child now? Lawrence, your level of cruelty is absolutely despicable. It's enough to make my skin crawl just being in your presence. Only a heartless monster would even entertain the thought of committing such a heinous act against an innocent, unborn child. Oh, spare me your hypocritical act, you bottom feeder of society. It's crystal clear to everyone that your only interest in my son was my money. Isn't that what poor-ass girls like you are always after? Money and nothing else. So why don't you just swallow your pride, take the damn money, do as I say, and stay the hell away from my precious family. Can't you face the harsh reality? Everyone despises you, including my son, Watson. To him, you're just another fling, easily replaceable. And now that he's done with you, he'll be on the hunt for new, pure girls who can give him children the proper way, unlike you. So don't let the door hit you on the way out, loser. Absolutely not. I refuse to comply with your demands. And you know what? I'm taking legal action against you. 
That's right, I'm going to sue you. You have the audacity to physically assault me and my innocent unborn child. That's a serious crime, and you deserve to be locked up behind bars for it. It's a grave felony, and I'm confident that the judge won't take this matter lightly. Prepare yourself for the legal consequences of your outrageous actions. What? Did I hear you correctly? You're actually taking me to court. Ha ha ha. That's the funniest thing I've heard in ages. Go ahead. Give it your best shot, you worthless excuse for a human being. You do realize I'm a highly successful businessman, right? I have an army of top-notch lawyers ready to defend me at any moment. Have you heard of Dylan? He's one of my most trusted legal experts. He's helped me win countless cases and played a significant role in the success of my company. So you have an incredibly talented lawyer named Dylan working for you, huh? Interesting. That's right. So don't even think about playing games with me. Because when we step into that courtroom, I'll make sure to squash you like a pathetic little ant. In fact, if things go as planned, I might even end up getting compensation from you for tarnishing my impeccable reputation. So go ahead, make my day with your futile attempt at legal action. It'll be my pleasure to watch you fail miserably. Oh, I appreciate your little warnings, but let me make one thing clear. No matter how tough things may get, I never back down. I'll fight tirelessly until I reclaim justice for myself and my child. Remember my words, this is far from over between you and me. I'll ensure that you regret the day you decided to mess with me, and that regret will haunt you for the rest of your miserable life. Oh wow, look who's pretending to be the righteous judge here, acting like they have the law in their grubby little hands. Listen, you dead-brained. You're nothing in this society. Absolutely nothing. You're just a lowly little worm slithering through life, leeching off of wealthy men to survive. It's pathetic women like you that make this society so toxic and destructive. You think you can challenge me head on? Well, guess what? Challenge accepted, scumbag. And I promise you, you'll pay an exorbitant price for playing with fire. Prepare to face the consequences of your foolish actions. Hey Dylan, do you have a moment to spare? There's something I really need to talk to you about. Hey Graceland, what's up? I heard you paid a visit to Watson's parents' place yesterday morning to discuss your engagement, right? So, how did things go? Everything good? Oh Dylan, it was actually awful. I can't even begin to express how terrible things went. I'm still in disbelief about what happened. It's like I'm trying to make sense of it all, but it's just so shocking. Right now, I really need your support and comfort. Can you please be there for me? Oh no, what did they do to you? I'm really concerned. But what could possibly have gone wrong? I mean, Watson's parents have always treated you well, and I thought they had already agreed to your engagement with him. Yes, they did treat me well, but that was before they found out that I'm pregnant with Watson's child. Wait, what? You're gonna have a little one? That's incredible! Do Watson's parents have any objections to it? I thought the same thing, but they made it clear that having a child before marriage is seen as a disgrace to their family's image. They didn't waste a second before hurling insults at me, and to make matters worse, Watson's father even resorted to physical violence. He punched me and pushed me into the pool. It was absolutely horrifying. Wait, hold on a second. Are you telling me that Watson's father actually did that to you? That's beyond rude and completely abusive. It's hard to believe that someone like him would stoop so low. I mean, he comes from a supposedly prestigious family, right? He should know better than resorting to physical violence to express himself. It's sadly true. It seems like he still holds some deep-seated prejudices against women getting pregnant before marriage. He went as far as telling me to get an abortion and that he would cover all the expenses. Can you believe it? I could never even fathom doing anything to harm my child, let alone consider getting an abortion. Seriously? First he physically assaults you and now he suggests such a twisted idea of you getting an abortion? 
Is he even human anymore? This is beyond disturbing. Have you told Watson about all of this? He needs to know what his father is capable of. Yes, I did. And Watson was beyond furious when he learned about everything that happened. He had a serious talk with his parents and demanded they apologize to me or else he would take legal action against them. But instead of realizing their mistakes and apologize, Watson's parents berated him and even resorted to physical violence, threatening to kick him out if he didn't obey their orders. It's unbelievable to think that they could be so heartless and hurt their own flesh and blood. It seems like they're not going to change their minds anytime soon. Wow, his father is truly something else, isn't he? And what was Watson's response to all that madness? Watson stood up to his parents and told them that he's more willing to move out and live with me, especially since we're planning to get engaged and married soon. But their reaction was absolutely shocking. They started throwing his belongings out of the windows, disowned him, and made it clear that they never want to see him in their house again. It was an incredibly intense and hurtful situation for both of us. Well, that's definitely a challenging situation, to put it mildly. But I'm really glad to hear that he stood up for you and went against his parents. It takes a lot of courage for someone to stand their ground and go against their own parents, especially when they hold power and influence in society. Watson has shown that he's a man worth keeping around, Graceland. He's proving his loyalty and commitment to you, and that's something truly special. But Dylan, do you think I'm making the right decision? I mean, I love Watson and I want to be with him, but I can't help but feel like I'm tearing his family apart. Don't worry, Graceland. I want you to know that you haven't done anything wrong. Love should never come with guilt, and having a baby before marriage doesn't diminish your worth as a woman. Remember, your brother happens to be a well-known lawyer. I would be more than willing to defend you in court and make sure that Watson's father is held accountable for his actions towards you. You deserve justice and support in this difficult situation. Thank you, Dylan. Your support means everything to me. I honestly don't know what I would do without you. No need to mention it, Graceland. Helping you as your brother is the least I can do. Rest assured, I'll ensure that you win this case and the person who harmed you will face the consequences to the fullest extent of the law. No one gets away with assaulting my sister, and Watson's father is no exception. You have my full support, and Watson and I are standing right by your side. Thank you, Dylan. You truly are the best brother anyone could ever ask for. Your unwavering support and care mean the world to me. I'm incredibly lucky to have you in my life. Lawrence, are you prepared to accept the full weight of your actions? I'm taking you to court, and there's no escaping the consequences now. You can attempt to offer me empty apologies or even try to bribe me with your usual money games, but let me make it clear, it won't make a difference. The truth remains that you will be held accountable for assaulting both me and my child, and you will end up behind bars where you belong. Oh, look who it is, the conniving snake. What kind of manipulation did you pull on my precious son to make him betray his own family? He used to be such a well-behaved boy, always obedient and doing whatever his parents told him. But now he's transformed into this rebellious jerk who's constantly defying my every command. Can't you see the truth? He's had enough of the suffocating control that you've inflicted upon him all these years. You've never allowed him to pursue his true passions. Instead, you've disregarded his desires and forced him to conform to your own wishes. And whenever he dared to show a glimmer of pursuing what he loves or following his heart, you resorted to violence to crush his dreams. Tell me, is that how parents should treat their own child? Oh, who cares about any of that nonsense? Watson is a man. And men aren't supposed to have desires, dreams, or feelings. It's these pathetic things that rot his brain and turn him into a spineless, weak-willed noodle soup. What on earth are you talking about? Aren't men human beings too? Your stance is utterly ridiculous and completely unreasonable. Do you even realize how absurd your perspective is? 
Stop with the back talk and listen up, you scatterbrained. I demand my son back. How dare he abandon his own parents like that? Does he even consider the impact on our family's reputation? What will people say when they hear that our only son has disowned us and chosen to live with some low-life scum he barely knows? A scum who thinks it's perfectly fine to get pregnant before a so-called proper marriage. Tell me, is there any way that could be deemed acceptable in any sense of the word? Why are you always so eager to pass judgment and hurl insults at others? Just because people don't come from your privileged background or social status doesn't mean they don't deserve respect. Listen up, I'm offering you one last opportunity to apologize to me. Yet it appears you haven't learned your lesson and continue to cling to your outdated prejudice against women who become pregnant before marriage. You deserve to spend time locked away in a cell to contemplate the heinous crime you committed against me and my child. Oh, give me a break with your sob story. Spending time behind bars? Do you honestly believe you're some innocent victim here? You purposefully trapped my son with a baby before even marrying him. You deserve nothing less than eternal damnation for that unforgivable crime. Tell me, how many naive guys have you gotten knocked up by before my son, you filthy wench? Who do you think you are to hurl insults at me like that? Ugh. I never wanted my child to grow up without grandparents, but it seems like taking you to court is the only way to rectify this disastrous situation. Oh, what a pathetic loser you are. You get a kick out of using the law in court to intimidate me, don't you? Do you honestly think I'm trembling in fear from your empty threats? Don't forget, I have a team of highly skilled lawyers just waiting to tear you apart like a helpless ant. And let's not forget to mention Dylan, my incredibly reliable lawyer who will make sure you're left in ruins. Yeah, Dylan will indeed be present at the court proceedings, but he won't be defending your position. So I hope you have some other backup plans because relying solely on him would be a colossal mistake. What the heck are you blabbering on about? Why wouldn't Dylan be defending me? He's my lawyer. Obviously, he's going to do exactly what I tell him to do. Yeah, Dylan won't be representing you anymore, just in case you're still in the dark about it. And by the way, your contract with him is also coming to an end soon, right? And let me make it crystal clear for you, he has absolutely no intention of extending it any further. So there you have it. Don't act all surprised now. Huh? Why are you so confident about it? Why won't he work for me anymore? You probably have no clue who Dylan even is, so quit pretending like you know everything. Well, let me set the record straight for you. I happen to know Dylan quite well, and I mean really well. Why? Because he's my brother, and we share the same blood. What? Dylan is your biological brother? <laughs> you must be kidding me, right? You're pulling my leg here, aren't you? There's absolutely no way a guy as talented as Dylan could be stuck with a pathetic scum like you as a sibling. You're just some slimy woman who tricks men into falling for you and sucks them dry of their hard-earned cash. Well, here's a reality check for you. Not a single one of your pathetic accusations holds any truth. The truth is, you are the real scum in this whole situation, not anyone else. So get ready to face the consequences and watch as your feeble attempts at the trial crumble into utter failure. Oh, and don't worry, I'll be eagerly awaiting our little reunion in court. Let's see if that overconfident attitude of yours can withstand the harsh reality. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? There's absolutely no chance I'm going to lose this case. I've got an army of top-notch lawyers at my disposal, so who needs Dylan anyway? I'll make sure to squish you like a tiny ant. Just you wait and see, you insignificant fool. Oh, really? Are you absolutely certain about that? Because let me enlighten you, Lawrence. Dylan spilled all the sordid details about how you threatened me to your entire lawyer crew, and guess what? They can't stand you now, so go ahead and face the harsh reality. You're practically left with zero lawyers to save your sorry ass. 
Assaulting a pregnant woman is a major felony, and mark my words, you're gonna have plenty of time to enjoy your cozy prison cell. Have a blast. Ha. Give it a rest with your feeble threats. I'll simply hire even more lawyers just to make you eat your words. Didn't I mention this before? Money is the least of my concerns. I've got enough cash to buy your entire miserable existence. <laughs> Look at you, running your mouth nonstop. But guess what? You've got zero evidence to support your blabbering. So what's your grand plan, huh? You're gonna go sniveling to the police, claiming I assaulted you? Boo-hoo! Yeah, like anyone in their right mind would believe that load of garbage. Ha ha ha! Well, don't you worry about that. You see, Watson has already handed me the undeniable evidence, an entire video capturing the entire scene of you assaulting me from start to finish. So go ahead and try to squirm your way out of this one. You're caught red-handed and there's no escaping the truth. Huh? Where, where did he even get that? Did you conveniently forget that you have cameras installed in your own backyard? That's precisely why Watson was able to assist me in receiving the damning video footage. Trust me, there's no other evidence as compelling as that. Just wait until the judge lays eyes on it and witnesses your aggressive demeanor and despicable actions towards me. Things aren't exactly looking bright for you, are they? Prepare yourself for the consequences because justice is coming your way. What? No way. This is ridiculous. It's unfathomable that my own son is betraying me like this. You must be lying, right? This can't be true. Do you honestly believe I have the time or energy to waste on lying to you? Of course I'm not lying. Watson genuinely cares about me and our child, which is why he's gone to great lengths to protect us. And here's another little tidbit you should keep in mind. All this time that my brother was working for you, he was never actually on your side. No, not at all. In reality, he was meticulously gathering evidence of your shady business dealings and your involvement with the Mafia. He was biding his time, waiting for the perfect moment to bring you to justice. Huh? Are you... are you saying this is for real? Oh, Lawrence, I'm positively ecstatic to witness the priceless look on your face when the judge inevitably hands down your prison sentence. It's going to be an absolute delight to behold, I can assure you. Will it be 10, 15, or perhaps a whooping 20 years? Who knows? But one thing's for certain, it won't be anything less than that. Your future behind bars is practically guaranteed, and I can't help but revel in the satisfaction of seeing justice served. So brace yourself, because your days of deceit and manipulation are about to come crashing down on you. Hey, Gracelyn, you know what? It suddenly dawned on me that you're just the sweetest and most delightful girl I've ever encountered. You've truly opened my eyes to a whole new world. So here's the brilliant plan. I've decided that you're the ideal match for my son Watson. Wouldn't it be just fantastic for you two to get married and become husband and wife? You guys would be a match made in heaven. So what do you say, Graceland? You're more than welcome to marry my dear son. Just do me a favor, though. How about we skip this whole court business, okay? Let's just strike a little deal here. What do you say? Oh, really? Just a few minutes ago, you were busy spewing insults and belittling me, claiming I wasn't even worthy of your precious son. And now, all of a sudden, when you realize you're losing this battle, you do a complete 180 and declare your agreement to our marriage? Wow, what an incredible display of personality change. Do you have any shred of shame left, Lawrence? It's truly astonishing how you flip-flop based on your own convenience. Your lack of consistency and integrity is truly despicable. What on earth are you blabbering about? I clearly stated that I agreed to your marriage with Watson. Shouldn't you be grateful for that? Oh, come on now. You're dying to marry my son, aren't you? Well, that automatically makes me your esteemed father-in-law. And naturally, as the father-in-law, it's only right for you, the daughter-in-law, to do whatever I tell you, isn't it? 
Now, enough with the nonsense. Just go ahead and tell the police that our little disagreement was all just a big mistake. Take all the time you need, no rush at all. Of course, I still expect you to get rid of your child before entering my precious family. We wouldn't want any inconveniences, now would we? Oh, is that your idea of a sincere apology? Because from where I stand, it seems like you're just exploiting your position as a father-in-law to manipulate me into submission. Guess what, Lawrence? That proves you haven't changed one bit. You're still the same self-righteous, dictatorial, and cruel person you've always been. Save your breath, Lawrence. You're still headed straight for prison, and there's absolutely nothing that can alter that undeniable fact. What? Seriously, Graceland? After I poured my heart out to you and spoke to you like a mature, responsible adult, you're still having the audacity to reject my request? What kind of pathetic daughter-in-law are you anyway? Well, let me make it clear to you, Lawrence. I'm the kind of daughter-in-law who doesn't back down when it comes to fighting for my rights, even if it means standing up against someone with wealth or power. I'm on the verge of becoming a mother, and nothing is more crucial to me than standing up and safeguarding myself and my child. I won't let anyone, including you, trample over our well-being. Oh, please. Cut the act and tell me what you're after, will you? Money, fame, or anything else your greedy heart desires? Name your price and I'll give it to you. Just do me a favor and tell your so-called brother to drop this ridiculous court nonsense, all right? Think about it for a moment, Graceland. Is it really worth going through all this hassle? What do you honestly gain from dragging this out? Let's be practical here and save ourselves the trouble, my dear daughter-in-law. Oh, too bad for you, Lawrence, because I couldn't care less about any of those things you mentioned. Just accept the reality that you're bound for prison and there's absolutely nothing that can stand in the way of that. Here's some friendly advice, though it won't do you any good. Start concocting as many lies and excuses as you can to justify your despicable actions. But let me assure you, no matter how hard you try, every single effort of yours will be utterly futile. My brother and I are resolute in exposing the truth and bringing your dark deeds to light. So farewell, Lawrence. Enjoy your time behind bars because that's exactly where you belong. In the end, justice prevailed and Lawrence was rightly sentenced to prison for his despicable actions against me and my child. Not only that, but the police also investigated his company and uncovered their involvement in illicit dealings with the mafia. Specifically, they engaged in racketeering, employing tactics like threats, intimidation, and violence to extort money from other small businesses. Throughout the trial, Lawrence's once apparent confidence and arrogance seemed to dissipate entirely. He resorted to pleading and making promises of change, but ultimately, none of it swayed the outcome. Meanwhile, Watson and I are relishing in the happiest moments of our lives. We eagerly await our upcoming marriage and the arrival of our precious little one. We are determined to leave the dark days behind us and embrace a brighter future together.